I'm sitting here today with one of the biggest names in the culinary art, Roy Choi. His career in the food industry runs the gamut from hotel chef to street cook to as many award-winning food trucks and restaurants like the A-Frame right here in Culver City, California. Now he's added another title to his resume, movie consultant. Roy, thank you so much for joining us and letting right. us tell your story at the Arclight. All right. You're often referred to as the godfather of the food truck movement. Is that how you got tapped to be involved with the movie chef? By being the godfather? Yeah, <laughs> By yeah, being yeah. the godfather yeah, of Yeah, John came into my office. And, uh, I got four trucks here in the city with my crew, and I got five restaurants now, plus a nonprofit cafe. I guess, you know, uh, his team did the research, and um, they needed a consultant to help John navigate the food waters and, like, figure out all the little nuances of becoming a chef and also running a food truck. You mentioned John, John Favreau, the director, writer, and, and star of the film. Which kitchen did you teach him at? He was here, here at A-Frame. He also came to and worked on the trucks. So he saw all different kind of facets of our industry. Would you describe him as a really great chef already, or did he not have many skills? Uh, John is, he's got a lot of skills, you know, like he, um, he picks up things so quickly, man. Like his hand dexterity is, uh, is amazing. So I would only have to show him once and then he would pick it up right away. You mentioned earlier the word Sherpa. Yeah, John gave me that name. You have to be aware of everything behind you as well. Yeah. We really confided in each other and a lot of things. And um, he gave me the freedom to be able to say what I, what I needed to say and influence the film however I, f I felt like it was going or needed to go. I don't take it for granted, you know, that's a big deal. You know, like, it is. it's a big deal. You know, people work their whole lives just to be able to, to make, make an impact on a film in this industry. We're talking about a white on white 88 Chevy Grumman food truck. It's a blank canvas for your dreams. I'm gonna have him pull it around. Thank you. The movie, it was kind of an A-list kitchen. You know, you had Sofia Vergara, Scarlett Johansson, Dustin Hoffman, Robert Downey Jr. Did, did any of these people have like cooking skills coming in or? No, nah, like, I mean, I'm sure they cooked, you know, for themselves and their families and stuff like that. Just like, just like most people cook at home, but they had never cooked in a professional kitchen before. There's some world-class eaters on set, I bet. Yeah, yeah, everyone was eating the food. Like, because I, I was so naive to it, I didn't know that you, there was prop food, you know? So for me, I just cooked the food as if you were gonna eat it. So we all ate the food, nothing went to waste. Wow, Chef Big Dog up all night cooking. Shut up and taste this. Now that you've seen the film, um, do any of the scenes, are there any moments that really impress you? You think to yourself, wow, I taught him that. And the one I'm really proud of is uh, when John Leguizamo holds the baguette. And he's like, woo! Every single cook will do that. And that's like our inside joke. Um, <laughs> but I think the whole truck, the whole truck situation, I'm really proud of because they're really doing it. You know, like I, at that point, I was kind of like just enjoying the show. The real dancing in there, um, the real cooking, the way they were talking to each other. You know, you're such a cook now? I'm a line cook. He's a line cook. I was really proud of them, you know, and how the lines were blurred between acting and just flowing. You weren't just a consultant on the film, you were also a producer. Um, how did that come about? Oh, man, that was all John, man. I, that was a surprise. That was like opening a birthday gift. I really didn't care, to be honest, what my role, what my title was, or, or what I was going to be labeled as. All I cared about was helping John make the best movie possible for you to watch. Um, then when they were all done, and when it was all said and done, he, he, he came to me with the list and it said Roy Choi, co-producer. I was like, whoa. Have you been bitten now by the showbiz bug? I really, really love it. I love... Uh, I love the camaraderie of the crew, and you're burning the midnight oil. I love it, man. All right, so the last thing is, you probably know Arclight Cinemas. Yeah. They, uh, they also have restaurants. Oh, uh, yeah? Have you ever enjoyed a meal at Arclight's oh, restaurant? Yeah, yeah, Ar I, I love Arc. I live near the Hollywood one, and, um, you know, your caramel, the caramel popcorn is famous. Oh, what? This? Oh, what? what? <laughs> That's famous. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's, like, that's like the Kogi Taco right there, you know? <laughs> <laughs>